This morning's rain almost kept the Stratford man from putting up his flags, but there was just enough sun for him to put out his American flag and his Nazi flag. News 8's Ken Pierce live in our New Haven newsroom with why this U.S. veteran is flying a swastika. Ken. Yeah, Keith Josephson Cavage is not a Nazi. He says instead he is an American patriot, a veteran, in fact. He says the America's president, President Obama, is becoming a dictator, and that is why he has made this controversial choice to fly the Nazi flag outside his Stratford home as a form of political protest. Joseph Sincavage started flying some new flags on his Stratford house this week. The U.S. flag, probably obvious reason. Yes, the, uh, the, the country's flag, obviously, yeah. And the Nazi flag, why? Well, that, that I'm flying as a form of political protest uh, against President Obama's policies and administration. Well, I really don't feel that the flag should be flown. I mean, it's uh, kind of anti-everybody. John O'Grady lives across the street in a neighborhood where the stars and stripes are everywhere, but it's the one swastika that has people stopping to take pictures. Well, my first assumption would not be that he's against Obama, that it would be that he's, you know, against America and everybody else. It's my constitutional right, and as a, and, and, and as all servicemen, I took a note to defend the Constitution. Yes, and Cavage served four years in the Marine Corps. Neighbors apparently called the police about his flag, but the town attorney says there's nothing illegal about it. Sin Cavage says he'll keep flying the Nazi flag until President Obama changes what he says are dictatorial policies. He cites the president's lack of answers about Benghazi and Fast and Furious and his policies on abortion. But again, like Hitler? I mean, no, I never said he was like Hitler. Okay. Never said that at all. I never compared President uh, Obama to Hitler. I'm just using the flag to uh, to to, um, to to make my uh, 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 protest to his policies. So you might not agree with what he's doing, but the idea is there is nothing more American than having the right to express yourself, even if you were choosing to do so using one of the most controversial symbols imaginable. Live in the New Haven Newsroom, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.